contact on the ball. Right, good. Who's going on the private jet? Better is new friends. Uh, uh -huh. That's good. You waking up? Hey, Chucky. Hey, hey Grano. Yeah. Those are nice. Where'd you get that? This I got on um, Oahu at the Adidas store. And this Nike one I got at a, a Sports Authority. Yeah. Because, uh... That's a good one. I like yeah. that one. I gotta get one of those. Yeah, man. Those are good for no sun. Right, sun right. Off you. Is that one of, the, one of the sunscreen ones? Like 25 or 50? I don't know. I don't think it is. Oh. Okay. I think it's just regular. Are you guys gonna warm up, bud? Yeah. How far should my feet be, Coach? Right, so let's see that. Good. And where should my arms be? My elbows should be out. And I should be looking over the top of my rack. Is this correct? Right there. Don't move. No, you move. Perfect. That's where you need to be. So you're looking over the top of the rack as you can see. Okay, and Allie, tell me about this. How do I swing at a ball? What's the stroke like? Outside in. So what does it resemble? A clapping motion. That's right. Look, see, I'm, see, I'm resembling a clapping motion. Outside in on edge. Why do I want to be outside in on edge? Oh. Hold it. Stand up. So you get the ball in the Right. If I'm running off the court, the ball comes back in the court. Instead of my racket being like this and I lose the angle of reflection. Excellent. Steph, why else do I want to come on edge? You get, like, natural Natural cross court is your primary volley, so this punch motion I don't want. Okay, and Sansi, what's the other reason? Can you think of anything? Um, this is like underspin. Yes, this gets underspin. This doesn't produce underspin. This produces more underspin, and that doesn't produce as much underspin. So when the ball comes in, it rebounds. But when you're playing good players, I can't have the ball going that in and fast off my racket. I can't control it. The underspin takes pace off hard shot and allows me to place the ball in the court. And the last thing, Allie, is disguise. When I'm going like this, I can turn my shoulders a little more or a little less or hit a little further in front or a little further back, but you can't tell where the ball's going. Um, but when I'm here, it's... Don't look right. That's right. It's okay, Okay, and Jaina, when do I step? Before contact or after contact? After. After contact. Is that an absolute rule? Like, you have to do that, Steffi? Always? Yeah. What? Yes. No. Okay, Say no. no. <laughs> because some balls I'm going to have to step. Like low balls, I'll get down here and this foot will be down even though I haven't shifted the weight yet. So there's some shots where that foot will be down, but for the most part I'm hitting in between steps. When I do my transition volley, so I'll see, am I hitting in between steps? Yes or no? In other words, when I'm moving forward, watch, am I hitting in between steps? Yes or no? That's right. And Allie, when I do my cross step, bounce step, am I hitting in between steps? Exactly. What's the whole purpose of hitting in between steps, Jamie? You're my coach. Come on, coach. I want to learn. <laughs> okay, step. So then, like, if you step before you hit, then, like, you'll be like this or something? Exactly. So that relates to your what? It begins with a B, A, uh, balance. L. That's correct. So you can always tell when you're out of balance on a volley because your head's out. See how my head's out and over the court? When I'm in balance, my head's over my hips. See how the head's over the hips? And look at this, my head's over my hips. But if this goes down first, then all of a sudden the head's not over the hips. And now I've got timing issues. My racket's going down a cliff instead of a slope. So I miss hit, I hit balls on the net or they land short. Not well timed. So that's why we're doing that. Okay. Um, how do I hit the ball that's barely coming over the net, Alex? I have to do what with my back knee? I forgot to do that today. Well, this has got to go all the way down to the ground. And see how my tip of my racket is still up and I'm still hitting offensive on a ball that's barely coming over. So we want to do that instead of doing this motion. We want to make sure that tips up and we're maintaining this V in our racket if possible. Um, when I was in college, I constantly had bloody knees in the country. Every time, no, good match. First thing he'd say is look at my knees. If they were a little bit scraped, he'd say, oh, that's awesome. Because he knows we're, we're really getting down on the ball. Okay. Um, 
in general, Steffi, when you're playing singles, if they hit a hard, if you're playing therapy, she hits a hard ball cross court, which she never does. That's a joke. <laughs> what are you going to do with that shot? You'll lunge step, right? Yes. Lunge, find the top, the center of the strings, and you're thinking of that as an approach shot for the next ball, just trying to get it back. If she hits a soft ball, what should you do? Hit it back soft. Right, drop. Yeah. So anytime, if you guys watch that tournament, I don't know, it was on this weekend, they hit one drop volley after the other all day long. So when you get that softball, it's so easy just to drop it. So just drop the softball, get to the open court on the hardball. Angle them off the court. Okay, any questions about your volley review? Okay, what is the tempo of a swing on an overhead? The tempo of a swing on every shot. Oh, that's good. Three. I can tell you that. What's better though? Fix. Here's my forehand. Watch my forehand. Look. Here's my backhand. Here's my serve. And here's my overhand. Oh, slow and go. Slow and go is the tempo. So on slow overheads, if we, if we release the ball from here, we usually miss them because the timing's too hard. So we have to make sure that we're slow. We start our swing earlier and go slow, 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 and then release the ball at the last second. So on every shot in tennis, you're finding the ball with your hands in position, and then you're releasing the shot. Watch, I find it, release it, and I micro adjust, and I release. Okay, so that's your whole set tip. Okay, so let's. Uh, we're going to work on consistency for a few minutes. So everybody, find a new partner that you didn't warm up with. You're going to be up at the net. You're trying to get 25 volleys in a row without a miss. Everything on the fly. Okay, so find a, find a partner, find a court. <laughs> Jock, maybe I'll videotape while you go in the next one. I'll videotape her. Okay, great. Wait, is your sister's birthday there? Oh, no, my cousin, but she's helping out at home. <laughs>